Josh, you scored two points in the first quarter and eight points in the half. Not you personally, the whole team. I mean, how did you come out of here with this win despite that fir sluggish first half? Uh, I think that we came in the game really slow, but halftime we all kind of came together and thought that like, we got to pick it up. Like this team, we can beat this team. They're beatable. And we kind of came together as a team and got hype. You guys have had some tough fourth quarters also early in the season in just the first three games, but you guys managed to find a way in the fourth quarter here. What was the difference? What was the key? Yeah, coach wanted to really press on us that like we had to play with the whole intensity like the entire game. Everyone needs to be involved, and that's like you can see today. We were all the bench was getting hype. Everyone was bringing the momentum that really kept us through the game. How did you guys not lose confidence as this game went on? I mean, how did you guys, considering the shots weren't falling early on? Yeah, well, it, it is a different gym. Like the backboard, there's no wall behind the backboard. It's new for us. It was just a, readjusting a little bit, but I think that like at halftime we said we came together, we talked to each other, we said we just gotta come together, we gotta calm down. You know, we had a bad loss last game. And we just came together the same, brought back. How much could a win like this, as, 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 as ugly as it might have been, how much could it just kind of turn things around the way you guys started? Yeah, I definitely think this would be a big morale booster, especially after last week's loss. We were all kind of down. We worked together really hard this week in practice, and this is definitely going to bring us back up. We have momentum. Devin, I'll say, same thing I asked him. I mean, two points in the first quarter, eight points in the half, and you, do you expect to win a game like that? Uh, we expect to win every single game. We try to go out here and play our hardest and play with heart. So coach was just telling us keep our heart, keep our composure, and we got to be better. So, yeah. When you're walking off the court at halftime, are you thinking, man, coach is going to, he doesn't yell much, but he's going to be pretty upset here at halftime? Oh, yeah, of course we knew he was going to be upset, but uh, when we went in the locker room, I told all the boys to keep their head and make sure that you know what you're doing. So, yeah. You had no points in the first half. You had 10 points in the second half, so obviously a big second half for you. I mean, just, did you just find your groove a little bit, find your stroke? Um, so when a, when a crowd starts getting into it, then it, it makes me feel good, and I got to get into it too. So it, they really helped ignite me, even though it's not our home. And coach was saying you guys weren't great defensively in the first three games, even though you won one of them. Just, you know, how much was defense and emphasis today? We, uh, we work on defense every single day at practice, and we make sure it's the key. Because if we play good defense, even if we have them hold them to two points, and we score four, we win the game. So, yeah. You guys only had two points yourselves in the first quarter. Did you look up at the scoreboard and kind of shake your head at all? Not really. <laughs> no. Try not to look? No, no of course not. <laughs> Uh, just how much could this turn things around for you guys, the way you guys, you know, now being 2-2? Two and two? Well, it's going to help us a lot, saying that we have one of the hardest schedules in Section 1, saying that we're going to have to go to Holy Cross, New Row, Mount Vernon. So it helped us a lot with our moral.